Hello friends, welcome back. Speaker labeling using assembly AI is as simple as calling a function with extra parameter. In this video, I will show you how to get the speaker labels using assembly AI for our audio file. So you can see the code here and this is the extra parameter that I'm talking about. So we just need to pass this extra field speaker labels equal to true. That's all we need to do. Everything else is as same as in the earlier videos. So let's submit this audio URL and get the transcription ID. I have already done that and let me show you the response here. And see here, this is the ID that we are going to use. And if you go back and see here, this is the speaker label, this is true. Okay, now let's submit, I mean, let's get the actual transcriptions results for this transcription ID, which I have already placed here and uh, let's run this code and we got the response now display I mean see what are the keys that are there okay so there are many keys okay so we know that uh, there is a field called text here so when we do that we will get the actual text of the uh, transcription but I am interested in this utterance field because it has the speaker labeling basically so I am just using a for loop here and Let's print out this, how it works. See here, speaker A and this is what he spoke and this is speaker B, this is what he spoke. And finally, if there is anything else, yeah, there is one more speaker A, he spoke this content. It's pretty easy guys, okay? Just using a single extra parameter, we can do the speaker labeling using assembly AI speech to text. And if you have any questions, please mention the comment section below. And if you want to know more about assembly AI, please check out their documentation. I will mute you in the next video. Till then, take care.